So, we finally have a crafting bench in Crafter. And to make this, you simply just grab four pieces of wood, place them down into the smaller crafting table, which is your default crafting or your default inventory when you press the inventory button. You just grab a crafting table, you simply place it down, and you just right click it, and it will bring up the full size inventory which is pretty nice I like that restriction that you, you have to make a crafting table to craft full tools also I like the way that the mine clones um, crafting table looks it's pretty nice also let me turn down my viewing range a little bit because I'm recording using CPU so it's a little laggy um, so I have my notes here uh, show inventory changes okay so um, as you can see the default inventory is a little bit tweaked it's uh, more centered and I did that because it's it's just more aesthetically pleasing and it's like easier to navigate it's also more consistent if I just go like this you can see that it basically doesn't change and I'm gonna make chests exactly like this um, I'm also going to modify the mine clone 2 texture um, to overlay underneath this. I'm gonna remove the text though because you, you don't really need that text, you know what I'm saying? Because it's basically self-explanatory. I might make the chest a little bit bigger than the mine clone chest and I might implement double chests because um, I really like double chests. They're, they're really nice. Uh, I might even implement triple chests if I feel so inclined. Uh, I'm going to make an animation for the chest and I'm actually kind of tempted to make an animation for the crafting table for this little piece to like lift up or something but I have uh, another note here and this is the first time I've gone from a script for a while because there's a quite a bit of changes here so you're gonna have to excuse me um, change the width and size okay so as you can see I've changed the hot bar size to be quite a bit bigger it's, uh, it's just one wider but that includes four slots so you got a bit more room to play around with also the layout is changed I put the hot bar on the top to enable it so you can shift click in and out of the hot bar with a chest or a workbench or your default inventory bench so that's nice um, also we have the shift clicking which I just showed which is also consistent in the workbench and you can shift click in and out of your hotbar so that works pretty well uh, I did this because um, in mine clone I didn't I personally didn't like how your hotbar was down here and if you shift clicked and if you shift click back it would go to the end of your inventory and not your hotbar now I, I've come from playing Minecraft for quite a few years so that that's something that's like embedded in me to quickly be able to do this basically so let's say I want to have a pickaxe and I want my torches and then I want a diamond shovel and then I want my axe and then I want to have sand and wood so now that's laid out in my hotbar and if I close my hotbar if I close my inventory or my workbench with items in the crafting table then they get thrown out and you recollect them which uh, I think it looks pretty nice I might make them throw forwards as if you're just letting go and kind of chucking them away from you but that's how it is for now also there's no texture I'm going to modify the mine clone texture and make it so that it's um it's a little bit more like gray I like the the look of Minecraft's like gray inventory versus the, like the kind of like dark white that they have going on. Um, also, we have show closing inventory items to show that. All right. Well, I think that's actually everything. Um, well, I guess there's only one thing I can show, and this is going to be fixed by the time you guys even update your code. If anybody's going to update their code with this, there's no. Uh, there's no texture at the bottom. I gotta change it from default wood because I literally just copied the the tiles from Mine Clone into the predefined um, no definition of the crafting table. So 
it is what it is. I'm going to change it right now. So I'll see you guys in the next video, which uh, I think many of you will really like, especially if you're really big on building, because it's going to be a quite a big mechanic change, or an addition, actually, uh, to how building works. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, here's a hint, it's a remake of a Minecraft mod that I always use. So, I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this update. Tell me what you think about it, and uh, leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Uh, also, I have a Patreon if you want to throw me a couple cents and uh, just show that you uh, <laughs> like what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, this is basically a passion project. I'm not, you know, I'm not getting paid for this. I just like, I like to make stuff that people enjoy, and uh, the basis of this game is that it is building from Minecraft Beta 1.3, and I'm going to add stuff in that wasn't possible in Beta 1.3. So it's going to have a lightweight base of Minecraft Beta 1.3 redone in Mind Tests Engine. And then I'm going to have a whole bunch of... There's um, a server for Minecraft called Bucket and allows a whole bunch of plugins and basically I'm going to recreate those plugins in the game by default so it'll be really nice and uh, I know I'm getting a little off track here but I uh, I like talking about this so let's set the time to 6000 and um, like this is a bucket mod that I remade you just take down the whole tree it didn't have that animation but the efficiency of mind test code allows me to do that and have no problem with it whatsoever so it's really nice so anyways that's it i'm done rambling so i'll see you guys in the next video hope you guys enjoyed it see ya